Oh, Big Fry just sent me a message. Oh. <laughs> oh, the poor thing. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, and welcome to the Series 23 La La Land event. event. Dragon's... Oh, Series 23 Summer La La Land event. Dragon's Quest. Which is S1900 McLaren uh, Speed Racing. And, uh, well, it's a circuit, and then a circuit, and then a circuit. And, of course, one of them being water slide. How come this Xbox crap overlay keeps sending me notifications when I turned off the goddamn notifications? Fuck off. <laughs> uh. Anyway, you in a Buick. Well, we Just what I always wanted. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, the Xbox app on a PC is... Um, <laughs> well, how do I put this? The game has better coding. Ow. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> it's really bad. I get to feel that burn from here. <laughs> Well, it, it, it is amazingly <laughs> bad. And you need, like, uh, well, a minimum of two Xbox apps installed. Oh, well, of course. Because the Xbox app does not give you access to the club page. Oh. Uh, but the old Xbox console companion uh, mm. gives you access to the club page and lets you edit the club and shit like that, accept invites, <laughs> send invites, shit like that. Uh, but they closed down the chat option and everything else in the old, uh, the console companion, and uh. moved that to the new Xbox app. Great. <laughs> and then on top of it, you got that nasty overlay, which is... So annoying. <laughs> because, well, you can turn off notifications all you like, but then if it updates, well, I'm gonna update the settings as well, because just because you turned off the notifications doesn't really mean that, yeah, you don't mean it. Yep. Uh, you <laughs> might have changed your mind, so I'm gonna turn them on again. <laughs> I'd rather do more D500 racing, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is definitely saying something. <laughs> no, ser seriously. Yeah. This is not fun or thrilling or. I did. Yeah, I don't enjoy this at all. <gasps> it's wow really a chore. The only reason I'm doing I, it is because the races are on the playlist. If they weren't on the, uh, the festival playlist, <laughs> oh hell, I would uh, uninstall this expansion, like, instantly. <laughs> yes, like Forza Horizon 4, give expansions and that was it. Uh, yeah, but, uh, they caught an enormous amount of flack for that, so I guess that's why they're <laughs> keeping this crap in the playlist. Yeah. Yeah. And probably also because of the low amount of races in the game, which is actually quite mm. interesting. If, mm. you, if you compare the amount of races, that are available in Forza Horizon 4 with yep. both expansions and you compare it to the amount of races in Forza Horizon 5 with both expansions. <laughs> um, yeah, there's like what is it, 15 races more or something like that in Forza 4. Mm. Nice. 
So bigger map, map, fewer races. Of course. Lots of wide open space. Yeah, filled with rocks that you can run into when you're forced to do some free roam <laughs> race crap. Yes. Be it, be it in the Eliminator or in. Uh, uh, I had a trail blizzards are like garbage. At a Horizon yeah. Tour thingy. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm somewhere, but not the finish line. I'm working on it. <laughs> and then again, when we're done with this one, we get to do the water slide one. <laughs> Yay! I am very disappointed that the prize for completing the water slide is not a rubber duck. <laughs> it should be. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Or some other equivalent squeaky toy. Oh yes, as long as it squeaks, yes. Yes. <laughs> Go fetch. <laughs> That's a new show. That's the next thing they're gonna add. Yes. <laughs> I mean, they added hearing aids and all sorts of other things. Why not support animals? Oh yes. Yeah. My support animal would be a little yellow rubber ducky that went squeak. <laughs> Excellent. This a little dinosaur thing. All right. Yeah, but that that's not a little yellow rubber ducky. A yellow no, rubber no, ducky no. beats the dinosaur. Yes, it does. Big time. <laughs> 18 seconds. Come on. Ooh, we were up against a wild Rambo. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, come on. I'm not getting any younger. Oh, this one is so long. Wow, so with whom map is it? I uh, feel up to home up for it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then with water because it's a rolling. Sorry, I Oh no, no, don't worry about that. I'm all over the place anyway. I'm probably, I'm probably just ramming myself. <laughs> that, that would be impressive. <laughs> Something fell off one of his cars. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, the, the very first thing this car does when the race starts is drop its rear wing. Yeah. yeah. It does that before it starts to accelerate. <laughs> and I, I did hear some stories about McLaren and their poor build quality, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, duct tape could do a better job. Mm hmm. Just Duck tip, on. yeah. Just goes on for eons and eons. Yeah. We water. <laughs> oh, how innovative and fun putting water in the middle of the racetrack. Yeah, but I can't get in the event lab. Actually, 
if they did it in Formula One, it would be interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> might, I might actually watch Formula One then. Watch <laughs> like Formula One. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's take them on the Hot Wheels tracks. Yes. So, Hamilton, how do you like the loop-de-loop? -loop? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unbelievable! <laughs> oh, and fly! Whee! <laughs> In case of a water landing, your McLaren can be used as a flotation device. <laughs> yep. Upside down, go fishing. It's your new boat. <laughs> yeah, I could probably use one. I haven't been down to Shashinklot uh, for getting on hmm. 10 days. Oh. Uh, because, well, this leg thing is, well, yeah. it's still fucked up. Apparently it's going to be a while, uh, but anyway, with all the rain we're getting, hmm. yeah, I'm pretty sure there's more water in Shoshinkalot than around Shoshinkalot. Well, uh -huh. uh, believable, yes. So when I get down there, there, there are going to be three mooring lines that go into the water. <laughs> get a winch. No, luckily it's a very, very shallow uh, marina. Ah. Uh, I mean, and the spot I have is <laughs> closest to shore. So, ah. the last time I was down there and empty it for water, I was afraid it was would actually be sunk when I got down there. Uh, <laughs> but no, it was sitting comfortably on the bottom. Ooh. Oh. Uh. There's not even enough water for it to sink. Oh. <laughs> is is the water down there clean? No. Because I know I know a kayak focus when you look at the water, it's like a dark green color. Uh, well, the the water down there is uh, well, it's brownish color, and oh. it, it's. Um, I mean, that, that area where the marina is, has been a marina since, uh, yeah, at least 120 years. Uh, so there are, I mean, it, it, they are not the biggest environmentalists down there, so, you know, um, if they spill some oil in their boat and need to pump it out, well, they just pump it out into the sea. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah. And if they drop something, oh well, can't be <laughs> helped. So they're, you know, bottles and yeah, tiles and God knows what else on the bottom down there. Aye. Uh, and the, the top layer, top like 10, 15 centimeters, are are s this extremely fine, completely black silt. <laughs> uh, really weird. Yeah, I wouldn't go bathing down there. Let me put it down there. Uh, that doesn't sound good at all. No. <laughs> lost it. And I made a horrible mistake when I put the shingle lot in the water down there. I, did, I didn't treat the bottom of it first. Oh, of course. Uh. And there are these tiny... Uh, there's, they're, in Danish, they're called brewer. Uh, right. they're white, uh, round crustacean thingies that attach themselves to the boat, and they're sharp, uh, they're sharp as knives. Uh, barnacles? Yeah, they're, they're, well, they're, yeah, they, they grow to, like, uh, maybe, I don't know, a centimeter in diameter, and maybe four millimeters out from the boat, roughly. <laughs> 
And, well, so yeah, that that's going to be fun when I take it up <laughs> for the winter. It's going to be a lot of work to right. clean it up. And then it's going to get mm. properly painted. Ooh. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, I think you just didn't us all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was trying to get this over. I was trying to get it over with as quickly as possible. Yeah. And it worked. <laughs> we appreciate it. So close. <laughs> and yet so far. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, so close doesn't call it. Wow, Buick. We. <laughs> and we just been we're winning a thousand credits. Woohoo! Oh, that is unbelievable. Yeah, it, I'm, it, I'm, yeah, flabbergasted. Anyway, the car I was using was the 2018 McLaren 600 LT Coupe, and the tune I was using was in here somewhere, hopefully. There it is. Five two two six eight one nine nine six. And remember, as always, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it. The same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.